New Brunswick's chief medical officer made clear today how difficult it could be to get ahead of the highly contagious new variants. From January 5th to January 28th, New Brunswick recorded 567 cases of COVID-19. If those numbers involved the UK variant, it's estimated New Brunswick would have had over a thousand cases. And in a best case scenario, case numbers would jump to over 6,000 by the end of February. As Heather Urex West reports, the variants are sweeping through other countries and are now being detected in Canadian schools. New Brunswick is taking no chances. After detecting its first three cases of the UK variant, officials are already considering additional measures to prevent further spread. It is a really fast moving strain. It infects people very, very quickly and in higher numbers. The biggest concern is what happens if these variants are allowed to spread. The UK variant has already been linked to outbreaks at a long-term care centre and a meat packing plant in Ontario. In BC and Alberta, officials are now dealing with exposures at daycares and schools as well. This is definitely something we've been wanting to avoid. Um, you know, these variants do uh, appear to have the ability to spread more easily. And that could, you know, really challenge our, our defense mechanisms and our, our safety protocols in school. Four cases of the variant have been traced to an outbreak at an Alberta daycare. And in two Calgary schools, students with the variant attended class. In BC, 80 people at a Maple Ridge secondary school are now being tested after a COVID-19 positive person attended school after being exposed to the UK variant. Those tests will also undergo genome sequencing as BC expands screening for the new variants. We're, for example, doing uh, full genome sequencing of all cases in young people and school-age children. Canada is currently only sequencing a sample of COVID-19 tests for the variants, raising concerns there could be unknown instances of community spread. I think there are definitely signs be, um, that the variants are at least transmitted to a certain extent in community and we probably are not detecting them all. It's why Dr. Teresa Tam is urging provinces to be very cautious around easing restrictions. In Alberta, there are plans in place to reopen restaurants to in-person dining as early as next week. I think there's a very good possibility that we're already seeing community spread in Alberta. To let up now is like putting, with the new variants in the population, is like putting gasoline on fire. And it's just not a good idea. Because as health officials have warned for weeks, if these variants are allowed to take hold in the community, everything could change. Heather Urex West, Global News, Calgary.